Come here. Come here. He came up to me. This is Lee Crescent, right? There's a battleship. And here is our homeowner's house. And um, <clears throat> we have a kitchen paint. Mr. Jones. And um, I wanted you to kind of look at the orientation. I know it's hard to see, and that's why we're going to take some time. Um, we got entry here. We have an entry here. And I want to kind of back away from it and let you look. And what we have been asked to do is provide our homeowner with a quote to paint all the cabinets that you see. And they start up here, they go down, they turn, they go that way, and there. And they have a little island here. And let's start on the bottom, on the right side. And we would go from this area here. You see a door open, so there's a cabinet kind of back up in here. Okay. And um, probably six or eight feet up underneath. And uh, turn the corner. And they've got a 36-inch end cap. Um, but if you open all the drawers and all the doors, then we have cabinets to paint. And um, basically, the homeowner will remove all that stuff and help us and um, in addition to that and let me continue around with the two by the stove and then we turn the corner and go to the end by the fridge um, then we have the middle the door um, over the fridge is the one and then back and while we have this one open I mean it's a standard cabinet no frills I wanted to show you the surface they're unhappy with and if you look at the base see that they don't like it being rough so what I was thinking is an orbital sander to get the big part and you know it's round so you're gonna have the corners to sand with um, something pointy and that thing that would be pointy would be uh, the multi-tool with a little piece of sandpaper I think we did that on the deck that day so that we can get the corners but um, count on and I'll look at a couple shelves. All these shelves would need to be sanded. And those two, we have these. And to come over here, the same all the way around. And um, it's probably a good shelf. Um, and you see back in here, that, that is rough. Okay. Um, that is the doors, the interior. We'll TSP clean everything real well underneath as well. And I'm going to say that if it is white, and I'm going to call that color lavender, if it is white or lavender, then we would need to clean it, sand it, clean it, um, and get two coats of paint on it. And if we find bare wood, then we would need to prime that. And we will find bare wood on these areas where we were sanding like this. I'll let you look at that for a second. And I'm going to assume all the shelves are kind of like that. We would not be sanding any of the, the drawers. And here's one. Okay. So, anyway, that's it. The second thing is this is roughly a 30 by 30 room with a chunk in the middle taken out and um, we have a repair see that let me zoom in beside the fan and one of the thing I'm going to ask my homeowner in a minute is that do they want those caps to disappear in the middle of this process or leave yes, we do. and the answer is yes we do uh, we got a light or two to take down there's a fan to take down he wants everything scraped remove all the popcorn and skim coat mud and then we're going to prime and put two coats and I want to go back um, and let's see that's 14 feet up in the middle and I'm um, going to get an idea about the ceiling by looking at the floor plan okay 
it's uh, probably uh, 10 by 12 times 2 and then that side would not be included so we would only have the kitchen area and uh, there's the kitchen in the ceiling and let's uh, let's study the video and let's email a quote to these folks as quickly as we can so we can get an answer back and we will know what to do next thanks